talk openly about acute flares. So we both had a look into this because we talk about it so freely and we say, oh, arthritis is a condition known to have flare ups. But when you actually try and find information about it in the veterinary world, it is sparse. True? Yeah, very much so. Um, so uh, um, we know that osteoarthritis, we talk about it being a waxing and waning disease. So it has periods of relative good and periods that are relatively bad. Um, but we do, clinically, we see these acute exacerbations suddenly. Um, you know, where a dog who has been seemingly well controlled will then um, start exhibiting much more significant signs, so lameness or um, other behavioural changes that we might see with um, sort of we call it an acute on chronic pain. So we, the chronic pain we understand is there because there's an arthritic condition, but the acute on chronic means that there's been a, a, a sudden exacerbation of that. Mm. And that, yeah. that can be um, as a result of various sort of different um, reasons. So most obviously would be sort of slips or trips or something like that. So these animals are, I guess, predisposed to injuring themselves because they've got um, joint pain anyway. They might have associated muscle weakness. They might be older dogs who have relatively less um, sort of neurological function. So they're more prone to slipping and tripping. And if they do that, they haven't always got the muscle coordination or the, the sort of proprioceptive um, capabilities to, to control those falls. Mm. So they'll slip, they'll, you know, extend the joint out of its comfortable range. They'll pull on the, the ligaments that are surrounding the joint and we'll um, stretch the joint capsule and we'll get an acute inflammation or an extra inflammation within that already inflamed joint 